Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, the home checking out. Say these three times a day. Whatever you ask for Allah, we give you move to make. Guys, let's get straight into this. <laughs> You lost your job, it's okay. I'm going to keep trying, keep applying, keep going a year, two years, three years, four years. Trust me, I know a brother who did not have a job for 10 years. In the last six months, he earned six million in a few deals. What happened? Allah gave him everything one time. Wow. It's a true story. But for 10 years, he struggled. He was really hand to mouth and he didn't even have. He borrowed and begged at times from friends. But the day came when Allah opened. Have hope. Some of us finding it tough to get married. It's true. It is a challenge. I've always said it was easier to marry when we knew less people. Now, do you know why it's difficult to get married? Because we know too many people. You might laugh at me. It's a fact. You know too many, your standards are up the roof. Go to paradise and you'll still be looking for that person. Where are they? Hey, they don't exist. It was all Photoshop, by the way. You got to lower your standards sometimes. Relax, you marry a human. They're going to have good and bad. Our, our Mufti earlier just said that, you know what? You marry someone while the engagement period was there. They were only showing you the best side of them. Then you found out they were bald. It's okay. No, that's just an example. But then you found some of their characteristics that were really terrible. Allah wants you to help them through that. For as long as it's not something absolutely unacceptable, I'm not at all promoting that you live with someone who's abusing you completely and doing something terribly wrong. But I am saying, you know what? They won't be some ideal human that's actually perfect because there's no perfection. I have flaws. You have flaws. We all have flaws. So that's what will happen. You're finding it difficult to get married. There will come a day on condition that you keep trying and you connect with Allah and you don't worry about how old you are. People say, so rude, so rude, so rude. You're past your cell by date. I mean, do I look like a box of drink or something? You're past your cell by date. How could you say that to someone? How dare you say that? You could have married early and perhaps your marriage may not have worked. And here is a person, they may not be married at the age of 40, but they're going to marry someone such that they will never regret the long wait. They will forget that we waited so long. Don't worry, that heart, Allah will not break it beyond a certain point. You have to be strong. You have to believe. You have to have faith. You have to have conviction. That Allah is going to solve my problem. He brought me on earth. If Allah Almighty feeds and caters for the ant that I cannot see. Do you really think he's going to miss you and I? He missed me, but he got the ant under my feet. It's impossible. He has your back. Allah knows you exist. He knows you personally. And he knows everyone personally. He knows your problems, your difficulties, your hardships. He knows everything. But... He plans things only that he wants to see if you come closer to him or if you go away. So therefore, notice how some people, when they get a lot, they turn away from Allah. And others, when they get a lot, they turn towards Allah. And some people, when they lose everything, they turn towards Allah. And others, when they lose everything, they turn away from Allah. There is nothing uniform. It just depends on you. That is why when we talk of the hearts, what did I say at the beginning here? I said the only one who can cure your heart is the maker. Allahumma ya muqallib al qulub Thabbit qulubana ala deenik. Oh Allah, who turns the hearts, turn our hearts towards your obedience and towards what pleases you, towards the faith that you've chosen. What does that prove? It proves that our hearts are in the hands of Allah. He turns them as He wishes. Allah turns them as He wishes. So turn to Allah. And therefore, with Allah, you will be strengthened. You will forget the days of suffer, suffering and struggles. The days when people let you down, it's okay. Allah will help. Allah will grant you. 
May Allah Almighty bless us all. Guys, there's one thing I noticed about Mufti Mek teachings. Like, it's long, but it's kind of short. Like, I tell you, like, it's very, very enjoyable. Like, you kind of listen to him. The kind of person that talks from the Quran and it talks from the Quran, but you also relate it with life. And you can easily understand that you being a Muslim, a Christian, an atheist, anybody, you understand what he's saying and you see logical sense in it. Because I feel if you dedicate your life to God, he will never let you down. Like, if you believe he is the only one that can take care of his situation, he will take care of his situation. Because I will refer to someone, a big show person in that will host her. He once said that he have never seen anyone that asked God for help and God denied him help. Like, when you ask God for help, he's always there to help you. Like, you asking God for help, you having faith is going to help you and you working towards that faith. Because God said, faith without work is dead. Like, you have to have faith. You have to be working. Because God said, he'll bless the fruit of your labor. So you can't be idle and waiting for God to just give. You have to, you have to put in that work first. Like, you having faith so to be the first thing, then you working towards that faith and hoping God will take you from where you are to something bigger than what you expected. And that's how God does it, guys. But who am I? But that's how I believe God has done it in my life, guys. So guys, there's just like share, subscribe my channel. You will listen to more movies in there, guys. But it's someone I actually respect that honor a lot. Please leave his recommendation in my comment section, guys. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.